Tutorial 5 Path Blending Hi, and welcome to Ben's Fast Fireworks Tutorials. As many of you noticed, I've reworked the whole layout of my tutorials. But today we're going to be working on path bending. And what path bending is, is taking two lines and like merging them together. Now just a note to you Fireworks 8 users, you're going to have to download this new path panel, which I'll give a link and everything, it's totally free, it's bundled with CS3. So um, we're going to begin by creating a new black document in whatever dimensions you want in Fireworks. So uh, let's begin. Okay, so what we're first going to start off doing is by pressing the pen tool over here on our toolbar. And we're going to draw a basic line. Now what I'm doing right now is clicking and then dragging. So we get like these handles. So we bring that out, and it gives us this what our line is going to look like when we click. So let's say I'm going to click a line about here, and then drag it to to also show what the line's going to look like. And so you can play around with that. And then I'm just going to do a basic little thing right, like that. And then just to end it, just click. Now I still think that you're trying to make a new line, and the only way to stop it from doing that is by clicking on the pointer tool, clicking off and then re-clicking on the pen tool and then draw something that interweaves with it it doesn't have to be exact but just something that does a little bit interesting so it's not too complex so it can't meet but this is very basic so now what we're going to do is we're going to select one of them now while holding down the shift key you're going to press the other one so now both of them are selected we're going to go over to our path uh, toolbar area, which is only available in Fireworks CS3, but you can download it, and I'll provide the link at the end and in the video description, so you can go download that there for Fireworks 8 users. And so we're going to click on Blend Paths, which is this one right here, and choose a low number, like this is the steps from one line to the other, how many is it going to do? I'm going to say, I don't know, uh, 25 just to show you. Press OK. And we're going to click Yes here. As you can see, it, it's rough. It doesn't look right. It, it doesn't look like it has a nice flowing ribbony feeling. So what we're going to do now is Control Z or Edit Undo, whichever you prefer. And we're going to hold Shift for both of them. And then we're going to make them soft lines by going to our stroke options and so now we have that. Now it's still not going to look like a ribbon because it's not transparent and so we give one of the lines a really low one like 28 maybe and then this one we're going to give a slightly higher number but never 100 okay then we hold shift for both of them and we redo this and click OK and it gives a nice flowing feel, like it, like if it was a ribbon. And you can also do like lower the opacity, or you know, do whatever, like a, a glow. Ooh, a nice red glow on your thing. So you can basically just do a lot with this stuff. For instance, if you wanted to do uh, some text, like Ben's tutorials we're gonna put something neat behind that so first we're gonna give this a glow so you can see it better I'm not I'm just gonna leave the default color and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna weave something around it something really nice and small and tight around it you can do this with text to make it a neat little background around it so like if it was like an anaconda like raveling around it and then we're going to select our pen tool again and make another line that goes around it. You don't want to have the lines too complicated because it can get messy. So we hold shift and then we select both of the lines. 
Let me go to our stroke, basic, and then soft line. This makes everything appear a lot nicer. Now again, select one of them and bring the opacity way down. And then select another one. Bring the opacity down just a little. Okay, so now we have both of those selected, and we'll go up here. Because this one's sort of small, I'm going to just do five. So we click five, and we click yes. As you can see behind it, it makes a nice cool little spiral. So if we just move, down, it's like really cool background. And you can do whatever number you want and just experiment. You, can, you don't also have to do this with just two, uh, two lines. For instance, if you want to do like a three line, like a little smoke thing. So it looks like smoke almost. And you want to have the lines sort of similar. It makes it a little bit easier. Now I'm just clicking and dragging here for people who don't understand. And then maybe one up here. And then for, th for three lines, it's recommended that you take the outside opacities and you bring them down to zero. And of course, the center one you just bring down to like 70 or whatever. And so then, while holding shift, you mouse over it and it should turn red when you're on it so you can see it. And then we're going to go back over to our blend tool and let's try 50. Press OK. Press Yes. Give it a second because it's three lines and it takes a lot more, a lot longer. As you can see, that looks pretty cool. We forgot to do one thing, though. We have to make them smooth. Now, if all you guys know how to do that, it's pretty basic. And we try this again. This time it looked a little too thick. So you might want to do something, I don't know, like 30. Let's see what it looks like. gives it a nice fading smooth look and it looks it's really good for like sci-fi stuff you can do all this really cool stuff now there's tons that you can do with just these lines for instance if you wanted to make that one higher than the center one and maybe make this one really low but not zero and you wanted a really high like smoky feel so you're gonna we're gonna do nothing you you shouldn't do anything over 150. 125 is pretty smooth. As you'll see. Once again, this can hold back fireworks. And it may cause your computer to crash if you do a really high number. So you just have to give it a second. And don't try re-clicking it or anything. It's doing it right now. It gives that crazy look right there. And then, if something looks too, like, in your face, you can lower the opacity down. And it looks a little bit nicer. Now, also give it more of a gradual effect, so you can see the individual line indents in it, which make those screen-like effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our blur, Gaussian blur. It's a little much, so we bring it down looks pretty good so it has a nice almost a smokish feel like it was smoky and you can also I'll put some other examples up in a second so I, I can show you guys what it's like of uh, some different examples that I've made with it and so yeah it's a pretty cool thing it's the path blending tutorial so yep yeah, thanks for watching